if Malacca tells a story that nobody has ever heard of. Nobody knows what's going on with these people. So that makes it a very distinct and unique game. The Tarahumara culture is one of the most interesting whole of Mexico because of the fact that they were able to isolate themselves from the rest of the society. And they're one of the first cavemen, literally, and they're alive even today. Siguen conservando su cultura, vestimentas y tradiciones por por decirlos, porque bailamos matachines y humares. En Semana Santa, pues hacemos otras fiestas. Existen infinidad de mitos. Parte de eso tienen algo de cierto. Uno que ha vivido alrededor de ellos, se da uno cuenta. Nosotros así cuidamos la, el mundo. Sí, pues que nosotros queremos a buscar la vida. Uh, the Taramara are world renowned for their amazing endurance and that's portrayed in the game by uh, the means of running, you have unlimited stamina. If you research the Tarumara and ultramarathons, you're going to find that they have broken a lot of records while running with sandals. Yo les hago guarache, pues agarro una llanta y me pongo a hacer, pues les paso el cuchillo así, rajando y así. No, pues nosotros no entrenamos, pues. There's a legend that says that Tramara hunted deer by running them down, so literally running with the deer until the deer got tired and then tackling it down. I mean, you expect to find runners in a plane, in a city, or uh, whatever, but not in the mountains. The game of Mulaca is based on a lot of regions that are really important for the Tarumara. For example, the Basasiachi waterfall. There's also the Barrancas del Cobre, which is also called the Copper Canyon. These are a lot of locations that are known globally, but unfortunately, people don't know the connection they have with the Tarumara. We live in a very racist society a society that has uh, put enormous pressure on minorities. And I think this kind of cultural products help very much in trying to heal these wounds. Even though I didn't know about this um, mythology, this is still like part of the city I live in and the state and the country I live in. So I really feel proud that we can get to share this amazing culture with the world.